what is up YouTube today I'll be showing you how to use every infrastructure item in Retail Tycoon 2. So to start off we have a singular parking spot so as you can see my next parking spot I'm able to buy will be $96,000 but when you start off it'll be pretty cheap or something like that it'll be like $4,000 for a new parking spot so basically how to place one as you can see it is all red tiles where I could place it because I already have a parking spot there but in order to place it you just have to okay. so in order to place one it'll have to be all green like this and then once it's all green you just click it and bam make sure it is pointing outward or wherever you want it to place it because if you point it inwards it'll be kind of weird for each parking spot to develop because we just parking spots being in the wrong direction or something like that now also another parking spot which is i have four of them right now but the next one will be hundred one thousand dollars yours will co probably cost different because you'll probably be like not have as many parking spots but like if your next parking spot costs five thousand uh ev parking spot probably would be like ten thousand twelve thousand a little bit more than a parking spot probably double of a regular parking spot but basically what this parking spot does is they actually have to pay to park there because they're using ev or whatever and also the customer that is parking here also has a lot more money so they'll probably buy more expensive items in your store so you make more more money overall and yeah, I would, I would invest in them, but probably not over invest because you can lose a lot of money and it might not be worth it in the long run, but I'm going to see how far I can get it with these. But yeah, I'll give you an update video on how these are doing for me as far as money goes for my store and everything they're buying. As it says here, a spot for customers to park. Each spot costs $1,000 more than the last due to permits. So you get $1,000 like right there, boom. As you can see, this car looks very different from all the others. Well, it's not a huge difference, but you can see it's different from all these other cars. So yeah, you get more money. And yeah. So this person probably will buy more stuff. We'll see. As you can see, they have a $346, I guess, wallet about to be spent on something like this. I'm not sure what that is. Probably a keyboard or something. But yeah, I would invest in them if you want to get more money. So the next category is a mass transit or a tram station. So I don't have one of these yet, but it is worth $5 million. So I, pro I probably think a YouTuber probably has one of these. I play a game a lot, but as soon as I get $5 million, I probably will definitely buy this and show you guys how to use it, how it goes for me, if it's good, if it's worth it, ETC. But yeah, same thing as a parking spot. Um, if you can only place it wherever it's green, so like right here, I could probably place it, but I have to remove everything here in order for it to actually work. But yeah, that's how you use a tram or how to place a tram and then the other one is a bus stop I do have a bus stop so think same thing wherever it's green if it's all green tiles you can place it 500 grand is for the cost of it but yeah as soon as you place it a bus will arrive very shortly full of customers and you'll just get way more money because more customers equals more money but yeah I would invest in one to two of these if you have enough money and the space to put it on the list is storage shelves this is also self-explanatory wherever it's green squares you can place it and basically what it does is just you can have more storage so right now I have 43,000 so if I just place another one boom I am probably have 500 more yep 43,500 storage so each cubicle you put it is 500 more but yeah very useful if you want to have a big store you have to have a lot of storage racks but yeah, I'd invest in them but yeah that's how you use them on the list is a manager desk or finance rep desk so these are probably harder to place because sometimes managers or finance reps can't get in there or I have the red X next to the person so basically what I do is I have most of the time the chairs are to the left of my store and then the chair where the manager or finance rep sits is pointing that way which I don't know what direction that is but you know here's an example right here so put that and then bam and usually the customers or whoever wants help can just go in those chairs and the finance rep or manager can just go in that chair and you'll have no problem there are two different desks though but I mainly use the one where the customers can sit for the finance reps and managers even if that's even possible but the other one the other one does not have um, any customer desk this is probably more for a manager I feel like because I don't believe managers can talk to customers wherever it's more so for finance reps. But yeah, that's how you use manager desk and how to not have an error 
when you're placing them. The list is Security Gate. So also, if you haven't seen these in real life, you'll see them at Walmart. They'll have them, and if you haven't bought something and there's no receipt or anything, they can just put on a bleeper, it'll be red, and the cops or whoever's guarding the door can just check you out. Same thing in this game, just press them. If they're green, and then bam, you can just place them. And then whoever walks by, if they have a weapon or whatever things that break the rules of the game, it'll go red and the cops will go after them. As you see, I already have a cop right here on their whatever that is. And they can just arrest them easily and you can save money. And yeah, that's how you basically use them. Oop, I just accidentally deleted a tile. Okay, that's how you use security gates. Next on the list is dumpsters. So really, this is probably the least important one. But if you want to keep it cleansing, cleansing, cleansly, whatever word you may say it, your janitors can put all the trash that is in the dumpster or the trash cans, which I have all the way here. They can just take the trash out and just go straight to the dumpsters and put them there. And eventually, a dump trunk or a trash truck will just come and pick it up. And yeah, it could be convenient, but I don't think it's a must-have in any of any stores and retail talking too. Next on the list is rooftop AC. So I don't know if this has any effect in your store. Maybe it just looks better or I don't know. It might have effects on the customers. You know, they may feel more at home because AC is obviously really nice to have if it's like really hot outside or whatever. But yeah, I just have like seven of them up here. Just, I don't know, just for, I guess, looks. I don't know if it has any effect, but maybe just AC in their store. So maybe customers like it and more customers come. Who knows? But I don't know. So that's how you use rooftop ACs. And also I forgot to tell you guys, it has no use yet. So maybe it'll have uses in the future. So yeah, it has no use in your store, but that's basically how you use it. Now on roof vents, same thing, it has no use yet, but I just decided to put it like this. So eventually when it does have usage in the store, you can already have it set up. But yeah, same thing, green square, just have any design you want, just place it, boom. Next up is the landing pad, and this is basically just to unload aircraft or supplies for your store. I don't have any of these, but if you want to just AFK overnight and just get more supplies overnight rather than just having to direct deposit it, or if you don't have managers, I guess invest in this. Basically just click it like this when there's all the green squares and then bam, you'll have it. Last, there's nine store signs, so this is basically what customers come. like. If you have a bigger sign, the more customers come. If you have a little sign, the less customers come. So I have the, the biggest one you can get, or the most expensive one, which is the big roof sign. So yeah, I have a big roof sign, so this is the best one you can get. Same thing, if it's all green, you can just place it like that. And then that's about it. So that's all the infrastructure in this game so far. If there's more that get added i will definitely do a video on how to use that new infrastructure but other than that hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it helped if you want to see more videos like this or i guess other games slash videos like this please don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below like the video subscribe and turn notifications on for the one the next time i upload a video and by the way just so you know i have more ideas for retail Tekken 2 and i will definitely be uploading future or very soon so yeah turn on those notifications and subscribe other than that, hope you guys got hope you guys have a great holidays. Peace out.